Hey guys, time for another Starfire vlog. Woo, this is so exciting. So good news, I'm going to be able to resin cast sooner than I thought because I found silicone spray in my drawer of stuff while I was cleaning and I can actually use that as a mold release agent. So sweet. I have started a little bit on the patterning for the neck armor. I'll show you guys that after we do some resin casting. First, I'm going to preface this with a disclaimer. I am by no means an expert at resin casting. I've done it all of once before this costume and it didn't go too well. Check the description for a tutorial from someone who actually knows what the heck they're doing when it comes to resin casting. Okay? Okay. Now I'm going to let those sit for about two days or so. Once they're dry I'll show you how to finish them, but until then I'm going to get some more work done on the neck armor template and then maybe sew the top today. This is going to be attached to the top and then the next layers are going to be craft foam covered with spandex. Now I've been using fleece covered with spandex, but for this I need something a little more formed. Like I, I thought about doing it with fleece, but then I have to worry about doing two layers of spandex and sewing all of that and I'm feeling lazy so I think I'm just going to do craft foam covered with spandex. Probably attached with hot glue because that is how I roll. And this is going around my neck. Yeah, it splits in the back because there will be velcro or something to close it up. The character has super long hair down to her waist so I'm really not concerned about what like, the back things look like. The silver's coming up here, it'll all look like one piece, it'll velcro down. It'll be great. Here is the finished armor and it doesn't lay flat yet because once I have the top done I'm going to attach it with velcro so then it'll be the right shape and stuff but that gives you a general idea of what it'll look like. Alright, I'm going to go... Okay, well now that I just killed a mouse, um, I'm going to go to sleep. So surprise, I went to check my resin molds this morning and they were totally completely done. So yay, less drawing time than I thought, which means I can finish those up today. I'm going to try and whip them together before I head to my cousin's, 
but we'll see how much I can get done. And that one popped right out. Voila! There's quite a lot of bubbles in this one. I didn't tap the mold as much as I probably should have, but I got lazy. Plus, I'm not too concerned. It kind of gives it a little more of a spacey look, which works for Starfire, because she is, in fact, not from Earth. To finish the gems, you want to put some sort of shiny, clear backing on them. Some people use just aluminum foil, tin foil, but I find that tends to look a little crinkly sometimes, and it's a little tougher to work with as far as adhering it to other things. So what I like to use is shiny, metallic origami paper. So let's do that now. Super simple. Anyway, I need to go get changed because we're heading to my cousin soon, so I guess I will finish this up after I'm home tonight. Hey everybody! Since we last saw each other, I finished these things. I put the rest of the spandex covers on the other rings and then adhered them the same way I did the belt buckle. So the other adhesive, the indoor adhesive, and then hot glue. The one for the armor is on there as well. And I know it looks like wrinkly and stuff when it's not like on me, but it'll, it'll work, I promise. as far as I'm going to get with Starfire until I go back to Chicago because I can't zip this up by myself. So I'll need my roommate Alex's help. Um, would ask my mom. She'd probably see this and be like, excuse me, you wearing that outside the house? I could attach the armor piece to the top right now, but I don't really want to until I have it zipped up all the way and I can make sure everything's positioned correctly. And I'm not sure I'm going to film all of that. And attaching Velcro is literally me sewing squares of Velcro onto this, which that's really boring. But if you have any questions about anything I did in any of these videos at all, please do not hesitate to ask. I do have to say I will not be writing up a step-by-step -step tutorial or instructions. Everything I did is in the videos. In case that you are attempting to create your own Starfire costume, just follow along with those. And if you have any questions about anything I'm doing, just ask and I will clarify. I tried to be pretty thorough with everything I did in the video or at least somewhat explain it, but if something wasn't clear, just ask. I will answer questions, but I will not hold your hand while you make the costume, because part of cosplay is figuring out how to do it on your own. That's the exciting part. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this whole work vlog process. If you see me at Dragon Con wearing Starfire, please come up and say hi and be like, hey, I watched your YouTube channel. I watched you make that. It looked a lot better in the videos. And I'll be like, you caught me. Or even if I'm wearing a different costume, come up, say hi. You know me. I'm super friendly. Awkward, but friendly. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next Cosplay Work Vlog. Bye-bye.